Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the most powerful tag team in wrestling history. This is the hot tag. I am John the Madness Thompson. This is my cohort. And I am Jake Ward. And boy, oh boy, are we excited. Happy New Year to everyone out there. 2022 is going to be a great year for wrestling. And you know why? Because you're a part of the hottest YouTube wrestling show going around the hot tag and madness. We've got a pretty fun show for everyone today. Mm -hmm. Nostalgic, toyetic. Some of my, you know, favorite toys of all time are wrestling related. I still collect, I've got a shelf full of Mattel, the legends, you know, jacks, all sorts of stuff. But it all, there you go. It all started with some of those guys you got behind you. The Hasbro line from the late 80s and early 90s. So today it's all about not necessarily our favorite Hasbros, but our first Hasbros. Uh, how you got them, when you got them, and who it was, and then wh where did it go from there? Well, where it went from, as we all know, addiction. Addiction, yes. addiction, yeah. addiction. Once you got your yeah, first yeah. taste of a Hasbro, it just went absolutely bananas there and while i'm talking while i'm on a roll i've been tagged in i'm in the ring i'm taking the bumps here we go let me set the scene i was in a toy world it was a toy shop over here in australia and i was with my mum and my brother and after always entering toy shops disappointment after disappointment there was never ever any wrestling figures there was everything else gi joes he-man ninja turtles all of my favorites but I just mm -hmm. wanted more wrestling figures. I was in my LJN phase, and they were phased out. And I remember as a young fella, and I looked over, and I looked, I double-checked and triple-checked, and I sprinted. I saw the magical, the greatest sign ever, WWF. And I ran over, and it was actually the ring I saw first. So then I yelled to my brother, my older brother, Ryan. I said, come over, look at this, look at this. Anyway, I go over there and bless mummy dearest. She says, you can grab one wrestler each. Now, Mate. one wrestler each is very hard, and I'll get into why in a minute. But the one I chose, and the music hits, and it all pumps in, and this is still the original White Trunks. It's even got a bit of texture on the back when I took them all to camp. But my first ever Hasbro was the Ultimate Warrior. It was the Ultimate the great Warrior. One. I was so happy with this. And then my brother, and it's so funny, my brother ended up going, Ho! And my brother chose Hacksaw. That's still the original 2x4. Back from like 1990, 1991. I'm just trying to remember. Back from there. It's got like all the mold when they've been in the garage, not in the garage. And these were fantastic. Two quick funny stories before I give you the hot tag. One, well, we've both got one wrestler each and we're not wrestling each other. So Donatello, Michelangelo were our job team. Oh. Because they were the same. They were the same size. So it was yep. awesome. Poor Michelangelo, he's copping the press, he's copping the splash, the clotheslines and everything from the Hasbros. Then one of my most favourite stories from these guys was many, many years later. 30 years later, my nephew, uh, my older brother's uh, firstborn, Neil, what a ledge. He comes in and I had all this display, as you can see behind me. And he goes, Uncle Jake. Can I have, have a look at your uh, wrestling figures? He was slowly dipping his toe into wrestling. And no word of a lie, out of, as you can see, there's some of the collection all there. You can pick any one you want. The first two he picked up... Ah, nice. And Duggan wasn't even in a front row. Duggan was like second tier and things like that. And he had a look and he picked them both out. And I was like, bang, that was awesome. And, and for me... I will never, ever, ever forget. And just like everyone that's got a warrior, it's a little chip on the nose, worn out on the nose, but that is my first Hasbro. The old poop nose. Yeah. <laughs> I, know, I know that well. The search for a non-poop nose ultimate warrior is never ending for me. <laughs> All right. So 
I have uh, a little bit of a different different story. So when when I was growing up, I grew up in this super small town, like 2,000 people. There was no toy store. There was no nothing. Like there was, it was a half an hour drive at least to go to like a, a Target or a Walmart or something like that. And that was very few and far between. We didn't, we didn't usually do that. But we did have uh, one, uh, like, a, like a candy dime store type of thing, and they would occasionally get one. Long story short, that has nothing to do with the story. That's not where I got my first two Hasbro's. Uh, I didn't know that Hasbro's existed when I got my first two Hasbro's. Uh, it was for my birthday. I'm guessing I was somewhere between like six and seven, some, somewhere around there. And for my birthday, my grandma got me two because uh, it's obviously you got to have a good guy and a bad guy. Okay. <laughs> now, I knew about wrestling at this point. I just didn't know there were action figures because I, I had, at that point, I had He Man, I had Ghostbusters, I had some turtles, all that kind of stuff. But it was, I just wasn't aware. And so uh, when I opened the first one, I was confused because, like, I knew Hulk Hogan, I knew Ultimate Warrior, but I had no idea who the, the heel was. And it was none <laughs> other than Axe from Axe. Demolition, Axe. right? So, uh, is that, is classic. That the original? This is not the original. Now, unfortunately, I lost them all in moves and they got destroyed and whatnot. So, everything I have, I would say I have somewhere between half and three quarters of the, the entire series. I'm missing out on a lot of the stuff that's like extravagantly expensive now. Um, but this was the first one I ever saw. I opened this one first. And I was like, I was really impressed with like, it moved, it did stuff because there wasn't a lot uh, in the other lines that like would wind up and slam and all that stuff. So this was number one. And uh, number two, which I think a lot of people, this is probably their first one, but classic <laughs> series one, Hulk rules with the slam action. Now I always feel, I always felt a little cheated because I got two figures, but <laughs> They both have the exact same, you know, motion. So I was always a little bit, you know, but the matches that I made with these guys obviously are very even, right? They only have the one move. So uh, very even matches, very good. I then, when I was a kid, I really didn't have a lot of Hasbros. I bought uh, Brutus the Barber Beefcake with the shears, the the original Brutus. And then I think I had, uh, um, I had the uh, Macho Man, the original Macho Man as well. But that was really about it. It wasn't until I got older that I wanted to go back and you know revisit them. And now, of course, I'm you know, completely obsessed with the whole thing. Oh yeah, when I was younger, once I got the first, once I got my first LJN, that was it. I wanted every single wrestling mm -hmm. figure under the sun. And just recently, at Christmas, thank you to my wife, I have completed my has. Besides the mailways, I'm not paying thousands of dollars. Yeah. I've completed that my childhood Hasbro set. And I am nice. up and about for that one. Everyone watching, what was your first Hasbro? You're watching this channel, you've had it, and if you've got a backstory for it, we definitely want to hear from it, guys. Whack that in the comments. Elbow drop it in the comments, and if you can, tell all your friends you're on the hottest tag team pro wrestling YouTube show in the world. It's the hot tag, and we will see you next time.